Okay. Boots and Jeans Riders got challenged by a U.S. Marine to do the saddlebag push-up challenge. It's what's in your saddlebag and 20 push-ups. I don't know if I'm gonna do 20 push-ups, but I'll show you what's in our saddlebag. And this U.S. Marine, you gotta check out his, you got to check out his YouTube page. You know, you gotta show some love to our service members. I don't know if he's still in the Marines or not, but it's a really, really great channel, Switching Gears Garage. In fact, he showed Cake and I how to embed our garage door opener on our bike look like it's coming from the factory and it only cost us ten dollars anyway let me get on to the challenge i have my saddlebags open already and since i have a trunk or a top case i'm going to show you what's in the top case already so what we're doing is showing what we normally would ride with every single day not what we would put in there when we actually out on the road so you get to see what's in our saddlebag and i normally don't challenge other people but yeah I got somebody I'm gonna to challenge to. So in my right saddlebag, what I carry on me all the time is a pump, an air compressor that was specially made by Adventure Designs here in California. My spare gloves. This is actually heated gear. Even though in the summer, I always keep my heated gear on the bike. Have you ever ridden in San Francisco Bay Area in the summer? early in the morning, you may need it. A plush to wipe down my bike when I need to. And this never leave our bike. This is a cheap cooling vest that we have had an opportunity to use maybe twice when it was burning up like at 118 degrees when it was riding into Dead Valley. Only time we take it off the bike is when we wash it. And that's, no, that's not it. Oh, I've been looking for this. <laughs> it's my heated gear thing that I carry my gloves in. Show you I haven't hit my saddlebag in a while. And this is actually on the wrong side. This is a tire plunger kit, the stop and go that I never use and wish I never have an opportunity to use. So that's what's in my right saddlebag. I head over to the left saddlebag. Okay, I don't have much in my left saddlebag. This is normally where both Cake and I kind of have the same thing in our saddlebag. She have a lot more stuff than I do because she don't have a top case. But this, a safety vest, so if we get stranded at night on the side of the road, we actually have to use it once. Actually, I still have the price tag on it. No, it's not a price tag, but use it once. And then when we pull on the side of the road, like we had to pull over at night in the middle of a storm one time, and we were on, I think we were in Florida, and it was at night under the freeway so what i done is just put it like that on the trunk so any vehicles come in they can actually see it and obviously we was on the opposite side they can see that there's something there just in case any vehicles want to pull over also uh, next thing i get in, got in here is toolkit here is the other tire repair kit that's the other one supposed to be on this side I don't know why the screwdriver is outside of the tool kit. And this just happened to be in here when I was hooking up my trailer, testing my lights. And that's all I have in, make sure. Oh, nope, something back here. What is this? Oh, <laughs> that's when I ordered some new foot pegs, rubbers. So now I'm gonna open the top case and show you what's in the trunk. This, I have a, a trunk bag that's I have by Saddleman. This is a hit and miss. Sometimes I keep it on here daily, sometimes I don't. I just happen to have it in it today. So I can actually take the bag out and show you what's in it. But let's just go with this. This is my liner for my jacket. When it's hot, I just take the liner off. Actually, I never zip it on. I just take it off and put it on and put the jacket over it. I never really zip it off. Spare Route 66 hat. You know, we ride Route 66 a lot. Normally, the hat is sitting on top of this, and also this Route 66 hat. Let's put this here. What else is in here? My drill by real. No, I'm just kidding. This is, we keep this on our bike 100% of the time when we're not touring. And this is actually, you guys gotta see this. If we're riding out somewhere and we say we're gonna take a short ride, and all of a sudden we four or 500 miles from the house and don't wanna. Make it an 800 mile trip trying to head back. 
we keep an overnight bag and it has deodorant underwear socks toothpaste toothbrush shaving if i need it extra shirt and that's it so when we stop somewhere we can actually just get our hygiene together and be ready to roll back home the next day okay one of the invaluable things we always keep on our bike rock straps kidnap tape you got to have some kidnap tape just in case you need to do some emergency repairs always have some kidnap tape or uh, duct tape <laughs> years ago our grandkid called it kidnap tape this is normally not on the bike this is actually my trailer hitch but it's in the trunk so you get to see it another must-have is industrial strength zip ties actually one of them came out a lot of use for those emergency kit which should include a trauma pack also now if you're riding a bike that has a trunk the reason you should only keep this in your trunk and not in your saddlebags what if you go over okay and somebody trying to help you and you say hey i've had emergency kit in my saddlebag and your bike's tilted on that side maybe they can't lift that bike at least they can pop the trunk some kind of way and get to your emergency kit so always carry your emergency kit in your trunk if you have a top case if you don't then you have no choice now a couple electronic things that normally would not be in a the bike they would be in the cubby holes what else i have in here this is brand new so we can stop running out our gopro so we just put this in here and i carry it in my trunk a towel this is a clean towel why is in here i have no idea a old gopro session waterproof case that's it oh some wires and that's it that's all i have in my trunk now the next part of this challenge i'm supposed to do 20 push-ups i don't know if i can rip out 20 but i'm gonna give you much as i can but you still got to make sure you stick around to find out who i am going to challenge mm -hmm. oh yeah i'm going to challenge somebody matter of fact i think all of you should do it whether somebody challenges you or not it's an interesting thing to do to show people what you have in your saddlebag or not i don't care let me see how to rip out these push-ups next to my bike okay switching gears say we had to do 20. i was i wondering can i do one a day for 20 days but he didn't answer me back so i guess i'm stuck doing 20. i could kick it rid of this let's see man it's been a while at least it's getting me back into working out pop out 20 right quick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Maybe I should do 10 more for good luck. Nah, that's not about to happen. Anyway, that's all I have for this challenge. So who am I, who am I gonna challenge today? I am gonna challenge Steel City Motor Vlog. Yes, Derek T, Steel City Motor Vlogs. I mean, I could challenge a lot of people, but I really love this guy's channel. He actually surprised us on a Zoom call before, but he would do good stuff out there in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Steel City Motor Vlog. Let's see what's in your saddlebags. That's all I have for now. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride strong, and all that other good stuff. <laughs> Peace.